Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Watch Lookout, where I'm always on the lookout for the next watch in my collection. And maybe this one is the final watch in my collection. I've told myself I'm going to stop collecting. And then uh, little by little, I keep adding a watch. And now I understand why Jody has just one more watch as his watch channel name, because despite your best intentions, you always wind up adding a watch. A quick wristwatch check reveals I'm wearing my carry-on which is a watch brand I don't think very many people know about it here you see it's upside down but this is a Comex edition basically it's a it's an homage to a Seiko diver uh, but it does have the compass bezel very nice watch uh, really awesome uh, very comfortable very substantial and really just great all around, great visibility. I love this watch tremendously. Uh, and today, as you can see, I'm adding another Bowdery to my collection. This will be my third Bowdery in my collection, but my fifth Bowdery that I've purchased overall. And uh, I've been waiting two months for this watch. I ordered it back at the end of March and um, it took a while because they had to make it first and then test it. It was a pre-order. Uh, and then uh, eventually it got here to my country. And like so often is the case, it just kind of languished uh, in customs before eventually being inspected. And today I paid the tax and uh, then managed to pick up the package. So I'm very excited about this watch. And... Uh, very anxious to see how it's going to turn out. Okay, so slightly different exterior box here. Move this out of the way. Here we go. Yeah, a little bit different. And we've got an outer box here. And that's a little bit stubborn. I want to kind of be careful with it because I always keep all the packaging like a pack rat and probably like every other watch collector out there. I haven't made any videos for a while, principally because I was waiting for this watch. I still got a lot of state of the collection videos to do, but I, you know, I've just been so much is going on and um, videos have not been a priority. So this is kind of a nice little outer box. Different from all the others I've had. All right, here we go. Bang. This, my friends, is the brand new watch in Bowdery's collection. This is called the Admiral. And in this case, it's an Admiral GMT. Lighting's a little bit dark. Um, that's a little weird right now. Maybe I'll open up, uh, bring in some sunlight. Uh, this is an Admiral GMT Model A12T-02. It is a full titanium watch, case, and bracelet. Um, it seems that a lot of people of late have taken a fancy to the um, titanium watches that Bowdery makes. I have a titanium Bowdery myself. I have a titanium Urban, and now this Admiral GMT this is enshrouded in plastic, so I'm going to go ahead and start removing the plastic and also see if we can let in a little more sunlight. All right, so uh, I love GMT watches, and I've been keen to get a Pepsi bezel, uh, and that's what this is. Um, it is a 40 millimeter case diameter watch with a 13 millimeter thickness. We'll look at that. It's got a 49 millimeter lug to lug and a 20 millimeter lug width. Uh, the bracelet itself, I, I, I know I need to get the plastic off before I get too deep into these details, but. Uh, you never know how much effort it's going to take to remove the plastic, and you don't want there to be this dead silence while you're trying to get everything off. Let me use the knife here. Of course, the bracelet is also 
securely wrapped. I also bought another uh, titanium bow dairy uh, that I gifted my friend Peter for his wedding, the sea turtle. I have a sea turtle myself. Viewers to the channel know, they've probably seen it, uh, the unboxing video. Uh, now I plan to do a state of the collection video featuring my three bow dairies. Now that this one's finally arrived, I ordered this all the way back on March 23rd. And here it is, the 28th of May. So probably about a month out from ordering the watch, it was ready. Uh, they had completed building it, testing it, and then they sent it on its way. And then sadly, you know, uh, as is so often the case when you're a watch collector and you buy watches over the internet, it is really a test in patience, um, particularly if you live in a country that collects duty taxes because... That's always going to um, add time to uh, when you actually take possession of it. And um, this is no different. So it's like I said, it's a test in patience, probably good for people like myself. I am generally an impatient person. So if nothing else, waiting on these watches has reminded me that um, anticipation will never be as great as before you receive the watch. And then once you have the watch, um, you'll have to find some other emotional connection that excites you about it because the anticipation of receiving it will already have come and gone. Okay, so we've almost got all the plastic off here. Okay, so here we go. This is 117 grams and it does feel quite light. That's the thing about titanium. Um, it does feature the Seiko NH34 GMT movement. Uh, so I am quite happy about that. It does have an aluminum bezel insert. Um, that's fine. I'm just actuating the bezel now. It's very quiet. You can hear some mild clicks there. Um, it seems that it's um, 24 click bezel. Yep, 24 click bezel. I mean, that's proper. And it is bi directional for those that, that want to know. Uh, the blue and red, just so you know, is a day night indicator. It's not really a Pepsi thing or a colorway thing, it's really a day night indicator. Uh, they're not the originators of that idea. We all know who is. It's got a screw down case back with a nice Admiral Star there and a screw down crown featuring 200 meters of water resistance. Uh, and there is a date window at roughly the 4.30. Uh, it's very difficult. Well, there you can see it there. It blends in quite well. Uh, the date disc and the, there's no frame around the date window. So it kind of just blends in almost invisible um, as you look at it. Uh, so it's a, of course, automatic mechanical self-winding. It is solid titanium, as I said, and it's, uh, I would say, a friendly 20 millimeters there. So other um, options for straps and the like, I would think probably could be easily swapped out. Um, it looks like hollow end links. Uh, I wouldn't say solid end links. Um, it seems like I can see under there. I don't know, maybe it is um, solid, but uh, it also kind of looks like it's hollow with sort of a fold over. Now the um, five length bracelet there, uh, those are solid links. And one really interesting feature is that the, as the bracelet is solid titanium, grade two, um, this is high polished there. Those center links are high polished, um, which, you know, it's not easy to high polish titanium. Um, the bezel itself is also titanium and it features a high polish as well. Uh, well, sort of a combination. It looks like uh, where you grip is high polish. The top of it is high polish. And then around the sides underneath those notches, it is, um, it is a brushed finishing. Brush finish all around on this case though. The flanks are brushed. The top is brushed. So it gives you an idea there. The clasp is also titanium. And what we see here is we've got a milled fold over clasp 
for the twin push button release, but unlike a lot of clasps, uh, this one is sort of abbreviated. It's kind of a nice touch there. And the crown itself is signed with the Bowderry logo. Let's see if I can get that to focus. That's a little bit better. I'm going to put it on the wrist here shortly. Uh, and the links themselves look like uh, push pins. So uh, I'll use my tool there. There's some more information here in this box that I'm trying to dig out, but it's quite a hard to... There we go. So we've got our warranty card, which is individually numbered. Uh, it talked about straps. I didn't know if a bonus strap was going to be enclosed in this or not, and it doesn't seem that there is. Uh, although, maybe I'm wrong. It seems that there is a gift here in the... No. Nope. Maybe I'm just... No, it's just some extra padding. It is a nice box, though. Uh, I would say probably one of the nicest Bowdairy boxes I've received. I like it. Uh, that's very firm. Sort of high-density foam there. All right, so I don't know. I haven't seen any other videos for this new Admiral on uh, the Internet. My cat is irritated because I'm trying to turn her into an indoor cat since I'm going to be moving to a different city, and I want to take her and the other cat with me. And so I'm trying to make her slowly come to the realization that she's no longer going to go outside. And this is her fourth day, and it's completely off topic. This is her fourth day, and so she's kind of beginning to let me know that she's had it up to here being inside, but uh, such is life. So this is very nice. I have been waiting for this watch, and it is finally here. Sapphire crystal, by the way, it is a flat sapphire crystal. There is AR coating on it. Um, and also uh, the loom. I'm going to do a loom shot here for you. We'll go into the, uh, the Justin Hawkins vocal booth and do a loom shot. Um, before we part. Now the bezel itself is supposed to be loom just like the uh, the indices which are applied indices. I There are two colorways, this one and the um, uh, black face with sort of a cope dial or I'm sorry cope bezel and um, of course uh, I, I, I do like black dials but I've also kind of become partial to white dials and I just decided this would be nice. I, I guess I really wanted that blue and red colorway on the bezel. So, um, yeah, you know, I was uh, excited to do that. Now we're going to go into the uh, go into the Justin Hawkins vocal booth. I'm going to add some light here and charge this up. patient with me. First I'll hit it with some UV torch before I hit it with the regular light. It's looking pretty good. Looks like we got two colors, sort of a, uh, a bluish uh, loom on the hands, all four hands, and the bezel and the, um, and the uh, dial itself is green. Actually all of it is green, but when you put it under the UV light, the hands, obviously sourced from somewhere else, um, uh, they glow green, just like the dial and the bezel does. Okay, here we go. So, uh, I've never been very impressed with uh, Bow Dairy's uh, loom. Uh, here, I will show it. But that is not bad. I mean, it's probably better than the Steel Dive uh, Explorer 2 homage that I have, which is a blue loom. A little bit disappointing that that steel dive isn't brighter, but this Bowdairy is not so bad. Now, of course, it looks really bright here on the camera, nice and crystal clear there, uh, but it is not as bright as uh, I would hope. Of course, time will tell through the night uh, how many hours that's legible. Now, this is a Japanese um, Luminova. Uh, Bowdairy's been using that, this Japanese Luminova, so it is not a Swiss uh, Super Luminova or the like. Um, but it's not terrible. Glows green. Not so bad, right? There you get to see that contrast between the brush finishing of the outside links and those three center links. It's a nice touch 
really nice. I hope that the, um, the push pins will be easy enough to remove. And I'm going to endeavor to find that out here as I wrap this video up. All right, guys, thanks for coming out. And, uh, you know, I have more State of the Collection videos to come. Cheers, everybody.